As we approach architects Bindu and Raghu's home, the iconic 150-year-old Chetinath style wooden carved door beckons us. It opens into the core theme of sustainability of the South and Rajasthani royalty. The lavish yellow marble flooring and the earth and lime plastered walls are taken from the ancestral technique of the Rajasthani palaces. The rich walnut reclaimed roof rafters are from the Chetinad region. The spacious well-lit hallways changes colour and hue as the sun moves in the horizon. The puja room is built out of reclaimed wooden pillars and a recycled wooden gopura. It's reminiscent of Dravidian temple detailing. The motif adornment of the backdrop emblazons the Marwar accents to it. A water spout forms a brook beneath the puja room which is flanked by laterite stone native to the Western Ghats, treated to enhance the wetness. The leaf-shaped wooden partitions offer a semblance of privacy. You will see the conspicuous absence of plaster of Paris, which has given way to carved wooden props. The cabinets made of reclaimed wood. The simple, elegant dining table and wooden benches for seating are also made from old wood, emphasizing the concept of sustainability. The classical design quotient is patronized in the kitchen as well, with finely polished kota flooring and a play of soothing colors of tan brown on the traditionally detailed cabinets. The open kitchen is utilitarian and aesthetically designed. The kitchen is supplied by completely recycled water, a hydrogenated system versus reverse osmosis. A set of sliding doors, a witty sandwich of glass and Indian printed linen opens into a creative studio. The princess divan with pure linen and silk upholstery and the old grandfather's work table and chairs take you back in time. The mud line plastered walls and green oxide flooring stamps the Chetinad style. A framed photo wall completes this ensemble. The peacock feather etching on the ceiling reminds us of the Indian Forest Trail. The goal of earthen hive architects blending the north to the south is royally played out in the master bedroom. The rustic mud lime plaster wall reflects the walls of the Havelis. The Chetinad flooring depicts the seas of the south. The ceiling depicts the beautiful desert rose, complete with dunes, lit by crimson yellow light, recreates the sunset scene in Rajasthan. The adjoining balcony is painted with soothing pastel shades of grass against the exotic swaying woods. The washroom is clad with an ancient Indian copper stone. The shower water spout is reminiscent of a spring hidden in the Western Ghats. The nest-shaped wash basin with bird-shaped water faucet and the mirror with the bamboo frame paints a picturesque sight. The children's room is an ingenious organization of furniture and utilities. All furnishings are in the periphery leaving the centre free for children to effectively use the space. A sundial interactive wall is the highlight of the room, sporting a clock, a blackboard, softboard and a thoughtboard. The concept of radiance continues into the attached toilet. It is achieved here with the geometric patterns on the natural grey stones and also in the interesting bulb-shaped mirror 
reflects the young thought process and energy. The powder room walls are cladded with semi-polished Jaisalmer contrasting with black slate flooring, which also brings out the traditional colorful patterns on the yellow stone. The vanity comprises of a stone-washed basin carved with intricate ethnic detailing, brass accessories, and a mirror whose bamboo frame completes the royal Indian ethnicity.